Joining us now to discuss, writer, producer, and director of the Plandemic series, Mickey Willis. Thank you so much for being with us today. It's a pleasure to have you. Thanks so much for having me, and I love that intro. <laughs> Thank you so much. So I'd love to know, did you see this a global pandemic coming, and was there foreshadowing that, in hindsight, we can perhaps point to, looking back? There absolutely was. So I was in the middle of directing a movie called The Narrative. I've been in the media and producing media for over 30 years. And so I really felt <clears throat> a calling to expose mainstream media and, and the damage they've done to our collective psyche uh, by dividing us, by amplifying race issues and gender issues, and and that disease has spread all over the world. So I was in the middle of directing a movie called The Narrative, and it was featuring a lot of top whistleblowers from agencies and from Google and all over the place, really talking about how this all works. And and while we were doing this, you know, everything was going on. Trump was in office and there were all kinds of investigations and impeachment and things were being uncovered uh, to the degree that these whistleblowers all agreed. They said, um, it's very likely that we're going to have another 9-11 size event coming very soon as a false flag to de deter everyone from what's being uncovered right now and to collapse the economy and to undo everything that is that is actually working in a direction that is uh, the opposite of what the globalists uh, want. And so we knew it was coming. And so the moment it was, and then I also have a, a background with having a brother that was killed by a medicine called AZT, um, which was pushed by Anthony Fauci in the 80s and 90s. When I saw that man resurface, uh, I knew something, something awry, yeah. something bad was about to happen. Absolutely. I, I think that's so devastating. I'm so sorry for your loss. But you know, government officials and corporate media ultimately caused this mass formation psychosis. And I think it's pretty obvious it was literally brainwashing from the TV that affected the population. Because if someone didn't watch TV at that time, they were largely unaffected, right? It's true. You know, it's interesting. We explore a lot of those uh, ideas in the film, even, even when it comes to IQ, because a lot of people were so amazed that a lot of the world's top you know, the, the Neil deGrasse Tysons of the world and Sam Harris's of the world and all these people that you would think that would be the critical thinkers that would see that what you pointed out in, in your great intro, how illogical all these things were. But these very highly intelligent people were the ones that were shaming the masses for not f complying to the authorities. And so we examine what's behind that and 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 how that the indoctrinated and those who have spent their time literally studying under, paying for their education under the some form of federal government, um, through the universities, through their med schools, uh, whatever it might be, through the grants they receive as scientists, they all are the ones that have been really focused on. So this thing has been, I try to tell people who are just waking up, don't feel bad because this, the, this thing was really targeted towards people that were deeply caring and highly intelligent. So that just means you fit in there somewhere. And that actually gives people the permission to go, okay, yeah, I, I, I feel better about admitting that I was wrong then because I'm really highly intelligent or deeply caring. But it's true because through the use of what we call in the film weaponized compassion, I know because I was on the far left. Wow. Um, I was born and raised in California, so I didn't really have a choice. <laughs> and um, I, I went on the road with Bernie Sanders to document his tour in 2016. And that's when I saw behind the curtain and woke up politically of what was really going on and when I look back, I realize, what, how did they get me? Because it's so obvious to me now, but it was because I was, you know, born with, you know, raised with a single mother on government assistance. And so all that rhetoric of trying to help the people at the bottom and help minorities and women, they weaponize that to pull people in by the, by the heartstrings. And then they use them as all the dictators of the past have, have called them useful idiots. And I was one of them for a long time. And um, this film is really meant to wake people up so we, we can stop that cycle. Well, wow, congratulations for, for having the wake up and for making it through that huge uh, psychological operation that you endured. Uh, I know so many other people, you know, have fallen victim to, victim to it, not by choice, but just by the circumstances they, you know, have grown up in. So I think that's amazing and incredible that you're, you're working to help awaken more people. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard hitting, straight shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month.
All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.